to my channel my name is Cynthia in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to call this pattern and we are also going to be sewing it I'll be dividing this video into two because it's long all right so um, I'll be working with this fabric this is our Ganza fabric I'll be using it for the sleeve area and this is the um, high target uh, material I'll be using for what the bodies okay it's an off shoulder bodies and an off shoulder bustier so um these are the instruments i've been working with all right um i'll be doing the cutting today by next week i'll be uploading the words the sewing like we like we do all right so if today is your first time of coming to this channel please i want to say thank you for tuning in and i want to also remember remind you to subscribe if you've not subscribed okay and if um you subscribe please don't forget to like share okay and also if you've not hit the notification bell please do so that you always get our notification whenever we upload so we just go right into the what the class um princess that for this um tutorial okay last week um the last week we used um i think the same princess that so this week i'll also be using princess that and I hope you can see what I am doing. Five inches for my off shoulder. I'll place my tape here. All right. Um, I'll take my armhole as nine inches. Um, my bust point is at ten. Under bust is at seventeen. Uh, waist is at twenty, and I'll take extra one inch for my allowance. So just mark the. I'll just rule it. see it very well all right so my client's boss is uh, 45 I'll be using five inches for my nipple to nipple and now I have two fabric here one is serving as my back side this one and this is serving as um, the front part so this is the zipper allowance I'll be using the zipper allowance of two inches okay so the nipple to nipple is five inches so I'll take five inches from the boss point so my waistline all right so the shoulder of this client is 16.5 divided by two i have 8.25 i'll add extra half inch for my allowance and then i'll take it down to meet my armhole i also put my armhole curve last week i did a princess that gown with peplon on three tier peplon on it i did with shoulder today we're making with we're making it as what an off shoulder so just keep watching all right so now the next thing to do is to take your that now on this part i'll take that of two inches and then here i'm going to take one inch so i'll connect it to meet my under bust which is here and i also connect this one too okay so if you see the distance from my under bust to my bust point is very high so because of that i'll be coming down with two inches so which means the bust point i use was 12 inches all right i use this 12 inches okay so now i'm going to connect this and then i also connect this one All right, so now to connect to the armhole, I'm going to check my armhole round. My class armhole round is 22 divided by two, we have um, 11 inches. So from, remember we took five inches out from our off shoulder. So I'm going to calculate, I'm going to get that 11 inches. So this is 11 inches here. And then I'll add extra one inch for my allowance. So half of 11 inches is 5.5. Uh, so. I'll be connecting my um, that to this place. C. 
so I've just connected it all right so I'm going to come down with one I'll go up with one inch remember how we do it so that you not be short of fabric and here I also come down with one inch all right so that we we'll erase all the budging around the armhole area so I'll connect also all right so this is it so I have a new armhole what's line all right so I'm going to take my measurement the box I'm working with is um 45 divided by 4 I have 11 points um 11.25 I'll be adding three inches for my allowance and then for the under boss I'm working with is 40 divided by 4 I have 10 inches plus um, three inches for my allowance and then I'm going to add back the that I have here three inches that and so whatever I have the highest measurement I have I'll just go up this way hope you can see what I'm doing the highest measurement so I just went off. Now we are going to cut. Okay. You know how we do the cutting. So we'll cut it out first. So cut out from the first line. Okay. So now we can get the back part. Remember that first initial line. Cut it out. So I'll try to remove the starting points line. So I'll open up um, the back side. And then I'll set the back side apart so I can finish that in front. So this is for the front and this is for the back side. Set them aside. Let's finish up this. Okay, I'll cut out the armhole. I'll also set the back side aside so that I can cut out the front part. Now, remember this dart. We'll take it off. And then we'll take out this dart also. Alright, so this is it. Now to trim the back side, I'm going to place um, the front on the what on the back this way, making sure that this part meets. This part meets. All right, just this part. So I'll trace what I'll make the back and the front look equal now. Alright, so this are the back. So now I want to do the lower body. The lower body I will be using a, a six pieces. Okay, I have a video on how to cut a six. I will show you, but I also have a video on how to cut six pieces. I'll be putting the link below so you watch them in case I am too fast. All right. So for the front part, if you recall, there's um, this opening, a very plunge opening in front. Okay, on the front part. So what I'm going to do, I will take. A quarter of an inch on this part okay a quarter of an inch and then um, once I get to this place remember we removed five inches all right I don't want it to be more to be too much so I'm going to come in here with six and then I also come in here with one so I'm going to connect that five this half here this quarter I collected, I'll connect it to meet that one inch. Okay. Hope you can see what I'm doing. My client says she doesn't want it too exposed. So now I'm taking a very little um, inch here. Right? Reason is because by the time you are through sewing, since I collected quarter of an inch, if you open it, it's giving you half inch. Not so, but if you finish sewing it, you have something like one inch there. So that is why you have to take very tiny, um, 
it's going to just take it very tiny all right so let me connect this way so i'm going to open up open it all now by the time i am through with sewing i will not have too much of the open it just have a little how it should look like okay like i said i don't want it too much what open by the time we are through with sewing it should look something like this just like this and then for the net i'll be using here i'll be doubling what the net i can even make it up to four because she said she doesn't want it too much open so i can make like up to four of the net so that it's not going to show her bust all right so this is it for the front part all right so this is the the down part all right i'll be using a uh, six pieces i just remember the six pieces i'll be using so it's, act it's actually a six pieces gown okay the down part is going to be six pieces so now uh remember her from her um, um, off shoulder to her on the bus was somehow we some was 17 inches I will be adding one two three for the waistline so I'll be taking it at 20 inches right from this starting point so from the waist to the hip I'll be using 26 and a half from the um, the from the waist to the knee I'll be using that is that's eight inches and then the length of the gown I'm working with, the gown length I'm working with is around 65. So I have enough. This is 60 here. So I have enough. My clearance is very tall. So I have like five inches, just little. Okay, so we'll be using it that way. So now I'm going to make all the lines look visible. Now someone will ask how much of the material did I fold. Remember, your six pieces is usually what on fold. Okay, so I will be using nine inches for nine inches on fold. Nine inches is what I'll be using. The reason is because you are making use of three yards of fabric. And three yards, if you use nine inches to fold for your six pieces, it will be accurate. You will not um, end up crying for extra material. But you can decide to go for um, 11 inches for your flay and all that. 11, 13, but please use 9 inches, all right? So this is 9 inches here. So now for the waist, we are supposed to divide by 6, okay? Whatever you have after you finish dividing by 6, you are going to also divide by 2 again, all right? But I want to give you a, a very easy way of dividing your just 6 pieces without... Um, disturbing yourself because you know six times two is what is twelve is that also since um the six pieces is six panel you need by the time you fold it into two it gives you how many two times six that is how many twelve so we are going to divide by twelve it's true is six pieces but because of what time like I said you can say the waist divided by six and divide by two again but it doesn't does it really make sense just go straight to the point you know we like easy things we like to just do things and be fast with it so i'm going to say the waist divided by what by 12 is still the same thing as waist divided by six divided by two again all right so let's go now the waist i'm working with is 44 divided by um six we have divided by 12 we have 3.6 all right so we'll go to the hip two so I'm putting 3.6, 3.6. I'm going to add extra one inch for my allowance. Now for the hip, the hip I'm working with is 48.5 divided by 12. It's going to be um, 48, around 48.5. What you doing with one minute now? Point 
is 8.5 divided by 12. 48.5 divided by 12, we have 4.0. So we'll just say um, 4 inches, all right? We'll put our 4 inches here. We add extra 1 inch for allowance. So whatever I have here on the hip, I'm going to minus, subtract 1, and I'll put it here. I have 4 inches here. Minus 1, I have what? 3 inches. So I'll just put my 3 inches here. And then I'll add extra what? 1 inch. So I'm going to do all my connections. I'll connect from my waist to the hip. And from the hip to the what to the nail so here we had the waistline the hip and the nail then the length of the what of the gown so from here I will just connect straight with the help of my long ruler it should have this kind of ruler so I'll just connect it to the what to uh, the length of the gown so this is it for our six pieces. I have the link. So there I, I did only six pieces there. I'll put the link so that you watch it and understand it more. So with this, uh, I'm going to cut extra four panels and one, the one is going to have zipper allowance, all right, on the back. So I'll use this to cut that one zipper allowance panel and extra four that is looking this way. So in total, we'll have around six of them. And then we'll slit the what, the one with zipper allowance. So at the end, you have something like seven, but ordinarily is what is six. All right, so now I'm going to, do this one off camera and then I'll cut out what the sleeve We've got Ganza ruffle on it so that's the reason why we are using uh, this fabric all right so I'm going to cut out the sleeve and so this is my off shoulder sleeve All right, so I am using an off shoulder sleeve. All right, so this is the off shoulder sleeve. Okay, so if you're wondering how I did this cutting, I'll be putting the link below. So go and watch it. All right, so this is my off shoulder. I'll be adding this. This will serve as the band. Okay, I'm going to keep adding the flounce until I get to the end of the words of this fabric. Now, to do your flounce, you need an organza. This is the organza I'm working with. As you can see, the one we have there. So, I'm going to get my organza. Now, the length of, um, you determine the length of the organza you want, okay? That's the width now. So, I will need something like this, fold into two. I'll be needing something of this nature. I think this one will be okay. So um, let's let's measure it. So I should have. I have um, two and a half inches, so that's what I need. Well, let's make it okay. Two and a half, it's okay. On fold. I'll be using two and a half on four. So I'm going to cut all my flounce, all my organza into what? Two and a half. Remember, like I said, it's two and a half on four. So if two and a half on four, it means, okay, let's use um, two inches. Two inches, then you're going to fold it in before we sew. So this is two and a half. I'm using half to do what? Turn up. I'll turn it up before I what? I use this right it will look nice all right so two and a half on four which is total of five inches so i'll put a notch here and then i'll just keep cutting this way all right so this is exactly what i want so i'm going to cut this as much as what as possible as plenty as i want now you go and turn up you turn it up so that you hide all this rough part inside so once you 
you are done with turning up you just keep it this way and what you start what pleating and we keep doing it until we get to the what we keep doing it until we get to the what to the end but i'm going to show us how to do this um on my second what on the second video on how to sew it i'm not trying to show you what to cut out so this is this is it all right and then for the um the net i'll be using a skin net i will show you all that when we are sewing all right so if this tutorial was very helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you again in my next class when i'll show you how to sew this and um with um, learning how to sew this until then i'm cynthia bye